Hey guys, Chance here at Rocky Mountain, here to show you how to inspect and replace reed valves on a two-stroke motor. Now we're in the middle of an engine rebuild and we thought we'd just show you guys how to inspect and replace reed valves if necessary. Now reed valves are super important to the function and performance of your motor. And if they're damaged at all, they need to be replaced. So today we're gonna show you how. Now if you don't know much about reed valves, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a rundown. So the reed valves and the reed valve body will sit inside the motor. They'll actually sit in between the carburetor itself and the crankcase. So as air is being pulled through the carburetor, it mixes with the fuel, and that air-fuel mixture will actually pass through the reed valves into the crankcase. At that point, the piston will begin to drop, and the reed valves will close off due to that back pressure, which will then force the air-fuel mixture up through the ports of the cylinder and up on top of the piston, ready for the next ignition. So essentially, they are a one-way valve that open and close with every cycle of the motor. So they are a high wear item and need to be replaced often. So today that's why I'm gonna show you how to inspect and replace these reed valves if needed. Now when inspecting the reed valves, there are three main components we need to check for. We need to check the rubber boot that connects to the reed valve. We need to make sure it's not cracked like this one. This one would definitely need to be replaced. We need to check the reed valve body. These typically don't go bad. However, the main wear item and the other item we need to check are the reed valves themselves, also known as pedals. Now, a few conditions you might encounter with bad reed valves are hard starting, a hanging idle, lean conditions, and a loss of power. Now, when it comes to pedals, there are usually three main materials they're made out of. On older machines, you're gonna see stainless steel reed valves. Here we have fiberglass, which is very common. Also some carbon fiber, which are extremely common. Now, what we're looking for in a well-operating reed valve are these pedals to sit nice and flush against the body. One way to check for that is we can flip this around, look through the opening, and we can see how much light is shining through. Now most reed valves are gonna let a little bit of light to shine through, but we don't want a lot of big gaps or uneven spaces. This one is starting to get a little bit of that, so we may wanna replace these. Another one that is having some issues was this reed valve. We have a big gap, it's not sealing, and we also have a chip. This will definitely need to be replaced. Now you guys know what to look for when inspecting the reed valves. If they're good, great. Go ahead and throw them back in your machine. If not, then it's time to replace them. Now when it comes time to replace them, it's pretty simple. All we need to do, in most cases, is just remove a few screws and remove all the pedals. Now when you're ready for replacements, there's a few different options. You can go and order some OEM replacement reed valves. You can order some aftermarket pedals. And depending on your make and model, there may be some upgraded versions like a carbon fiber pedal or even a dual stage pedal. Now, for those of you looking for more performance, we have two complete assemblies. These assemblies are nice because they are made from high quality materials and they are just a bolt on and go mod. They've also been tuned for your machine for optimal performance. This one we have here is a V-Force 4 reed, and this is a Boysen rad valve. Now these assemblies promote better airflow, giving us better throttle response and more power, but they are machine specific. So be sure and enter in your machine to get the one that's right for you. And that's it. Inspection and replacement of two stroke reed valves is simple yet necessary for an optimal running machine. To pick up yours, click the link below. And if you have any comments or questions, comment below. And if you want to see more videos of how to keep a two-stroke awesome, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Chance with Rocky Mountain. Thanks for watching.